hi guys uh, very good evening and i hope you are having a great sunday uh, yeah it's very cozy in uh, bangalore with uh, its weather so uh, welcome again uh, to our uh, talk today so uh, today we have a very 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 interesting talk uh, from a very interesting book on feeling okay so it is from this book uh, feeling forward from john maxwell so i know you guys and we also have uh, understood lot of uh, Uh, i mean if you search there will be lot of talks on success we we have success gyan and all that so we thought okay uh, we'll do something on failure also because a uh, lot of us have more disappointments than failures i mean uh, than successes right so we have more uh, uh, mistakes what we do in our life okay compared to the, the right things so we thought this topic will be very helpful for you guys and there is so much of content in this we don't want to ramp it in your head right now okay so we want to take it in parts and definitely we'll do a series for which we have a wonderful panelists uh, let me introduce them and welcome to the studio uh, welcome saurav welcome baskar uh, welcome rajesh uh, why don't you guys quickly introduce about yourselves please yeah hi baskar Yeah, go ahead, Basker. Hi, this is Basker. I have around 18 years of experience in real estate industry. I am working uh, from Bangalore. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, hi all. Very, very good. Good evening. I am Nasser. I have around 11 years of experience in IT, and I am based out of Bangalore. Thank you. Hi everyone. A very good evening to you all. My name is Saurabh Sharma, and I have around twelve years of IT experience. Thank you so much uh, for coming, uh, guys. Uh, even I have uh, more than ten years of experience in software industry from Bangalore, and uh, I have to uh, thank all you guys because it's uh, it's not possible to give this talk uh, on a Sunday evening. Okay, taking some time out of your family is definitely not possible un unless you have this uh, growth mindset. Okay. so you know we have overall around more than 40, around 40 years of experience uh, right in the screen and definitely we have uh, very good nuggets to share uh, and that will i hope it will add value to your life right so to start with uh, let us understand what is the difference between achievers and people who are average right so i hope once uh, baskar uh, gives his talk you will uh, get the understanding uh, between uh, the difference between these two okay so baskar over to you Hi Karthik and hi all. Thanks for the opportunity. And uh, yeah, so uh, today, uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to discuss about the uh, first chapter in the Failing Forward from John Maxwell. Okay, and here mainly, uh, so what is the difference between uh, people who achieve and people who are average? Okay, and what uh, what makes the achievers excel? and uh, why some people uh, skyrocket by uh, while some uh, other people plummet what is the main difference between the uh, achievers and uh, not achievers okay so is it a luck is it a blessing or something else okay you see uh, if you see some people uh, even with a uh, lot of difficulties uh, they are uh, achieving what uh, they want uh, for example uh, So, uh, some people uh, with even uh, two kids and as a sing being a single parent also getting a professional degree we are seeing uh, such examples mm -hmm. and uh, when it comes to corporate career some people are finding like uh, very innovative ways to increase the profit uh, even with the uh, with the uh, limited resources okay so we are seeing so having so many examples where some people are performing uh, very excellently while others are uh, stuck okay so what is the root cause of achievement okay uh, so is it the family background is it the wealth is it the opportunities what uh, each person is having is it the if the person having more uh, high moral values whether he is going to achieve okay or the absence of uh, struggles uh, obstacles so so what is the Uh, root cause of achievement is it the family background if you see uh, with even uh, low family background also people are able to rise 
to the highest level and perform better even with a high very good family background also they are not able to uh, take it fail failures uh, they are not able to perform is it a wealth so we we saw uh, so, uh, some people having already lot of wealth as part of their inheritance they are not able to succeed and many people we have lot of examples where uh, uh, from broken family broken houses also they were started and they could uh, uh, rise uh, to the higher higher, higher levels is it opportunities uh, it, it depends on opportunities uh, same opportunity being looked at by uh, different people differently so unless you uh, look at the opportunity in the right way you will not be able to succeed okay and is it the high morals so we saw some, some people with high morals are performing average but we are seeing some scoundrels also without any morals they are producing uh, uh, good results so that also no, no no guarantee that high moral people will uh, achieve uh, higher result okay is it depends uh, uh, absence of uh, obstacles so if there are no obstacles is it the guarantee that you will perform no guarantee that also so then uh, what makes the some people who uh or uh, achieving better so that is the main thing is here is the perception and response to failure so how do you see the failure and what you do when you uh see a failure so only that matters uh to become a to achieve better results okay and uh, uh, i will read i will read one quote for you uh, from a great author so the uh, quotation goes like this there is no doubt in my mind that there are many ways to become a winner but there is really only one way to be a loser that is to fail and not look beyond the failure okay so uh, you can succeed in many ways but failure is only one way so once you fail if you don't look beyond that will be the failure you will you will be the loser okay so that is a good quotation to okay and uh, then one more thing is uh, uh, it is not about if you have pro- problems it is all about how you deal with your problems that makes you to achieve what is this okay so here one story we can uh, uh, i want to share one story so there was one lady mary k in uh, 1950s and 60s so she started her career with uh, as a salesman so almost she achieved very, very good sales results and she all 25 years she was uh, having a successful salesman sales person and she could grow up to the director level also okay uh, in spite of that uh, she felt in, uh, even though she uh, she, uh, she saw one difference that time uh she was the only women director in the in the board of directors and uh, uh she lead a t- uh, uh, her whole team uh, sales team contain all women but uh, so th- then these are all directed by the uh, men there okay even her views are not uh, given good importance in that uh, board meetings and that so then after 25 years she decided to retire she retired also then after one month uh, uh, her inner uh, self was saying you know you can no don't retire and try to achieve more okay then she started uh, decided to start her own business so that is a cosmetic business so she bought a uh, lot of good uh, uh, formulas uh, good uh, patent uh, related to form uh, this cosmetic formulas and the strategized strategized uh, good uh, sales plan and uh, so then uh, then she then there it started uh, the first obstacle is when she went for registration company registration her attorney told uh, being a woman you cannot succeed forget about it then her, his accountant also told uh, it is very difficult to succeed so then uh, she ignored those and uh, she went ahead and started her own business 
and finally in 1963 she started her own business and uh, she made a grand success now around 3500 employees and around 5 lakhs people sales uh, directly indirectly uh, working for this stuff as of today so here the uh, moral is it will you will be having obstacle but how do you uh, deal with them that makes you success okay yeah wonderful uh, uh, thank you so much uh, for sharing uh, i am sure uh, that was a very inspiring story of uh, women entrepreneur uh, to so many of uh, our viewers uh, watching right now and definitely uh, uh, you give so, so many an analogies right like uh, if you are uh, wealthy whether you can be successful or if you are broken uh, Uh, family or uh, about your, I mean, if you are inheriting something from uh, your uh, ancestors, whatever, whatever may be the reason. Okay, uh, it's it's not like there is, as you said rightly, there are so many formulas for success. But for failure, if you don't look beyond it, it's going to be a disaster, right? So, and even our schools, we have not learned how to handle our fa these failures from our schools, right? So, it was a very wonderful uh, story and uh, interpretations you gave. Uh, thank you so much again for sharing basket and yeah like now we understood uh, the basic essence of uh, this right so let us uh, see what uh, once as it says right you will uh, you will have a completely different uh, picture on how you can define failure okay he is going to edit that whatever you have uh, in your mind right so nazir over to you yeah, thanks karthik so getting a new definition of failure and success so i will i would like to start with a beautiful quote i came across in this book the difference between greatness and mediocrity is often how an individual views a mistake by nelson boswell then later it mentions uh, the tony gwin uh, uh, baseball player greatest hitter of his generation so tony recognizes that to hit his hits he had to make a lot of outs so the people who understand baseball game they will understand uh, about the getting hits and making it uh, getting it out so his perseverance brings longevity and longevity gives opportunity for success so people are very, too quick to judge isolate situations in their lives and label them as failures instead they need to keep the bigger picture in mind so john maxwell mentions uh, seven things which are not failure so let's see one by one number one is people think failure is avoidable it's not if you are a human being you are going to make mistakes everybody fails errors and ma makes mistakes and he also mentions murphy's law and peter principle so there are five rules so let's see one by one so rule number 1 is you will learn lessons rule 2 is there are no mistakes only lessons rule 3 is a lesson is repeated until it is learned and rule 4 is if you don't learn the easy lessons they get harder and rule number 5 and the last one is you will know you have learned a lesson when you are your actions change so let's go to the uh, second failure uh, which people think and it's not so people think failure is an event it's not but a process success is not a destination it is a journey you take and what you do day to day success is a process and so is the failure so so it's not like uh, one day you wake up and you become successful so if you see the example of jeff bezos and uh, elon musk they have been working over years consistently and that, that is how they become success today then next one is people think failure is objective it's not you are the only person who can label your actions as a failure so if you can think if thomas edison would have stopped on initial failures he would have never invented the bulb then people think failure is enemy it's not it it takes adversity to achieve success 
it is a fertilizer if you see the spacex example three initial failures of relaunchable uh, rockets and fourth one was very risky but still elon musk go, went ahead and he finally succeeded then people think failure is irreversible so it's not it doesn't matter how much milk you spill as long as you don't lose your cow keep everything in perspective number 6 is thing uh, people think failure is stigma it's not they are not permanent markers make each failure a step to success success and the final one is people think failure is final it's not failure is simply a price we pay to achieve success and if we learn to embrace that new definition of failure then we can move ahead it is the price you pay for success so if you uh, i would like to mention the example of sergio zeman when he uh, he was working for coke coca cola for the coke and they were having stiff conflict uh, competition from pepsi then he decided to launch a new variant and and discontinue the uh, classic coca cola coke and they had 100 million dollar loss due to this and later when the company relaunched the classic coke it was a big hit and sir uh, simon doesn't consider it as a failure it just a mistake and he learned from it and later he was again reappointed in uh, coca cola company yeah thank you amazing uh, nazir so uh, definitely a lot of uh, failures and to keep failing and uh, proceeding ahead okay i know it's not easy right Uh, it can be a good talk but uh, to implement it in personal life uh, i mean i mean like uh, in our coming book club right we are actually recognizing people who have more number of failures in their life till date <laughs> sounds crazy right so yeah so our, our book club we want to uh, encourage failing uh, people who are failing right so which actually uh, outside we, it it, uh, it is not much recommended uh, usually right so i want to take this quote which uh, pim coach vishal i took it from him today when there is a setback right don't sit back okay only step back to bounce back i mean uh, i repeat when there is a setback don't sit back only step back to bounce back okay so how can you bounce back okay so the we need to understand how we can bounce back for which uh, saurabh will uh, share how we can uh, achieve that okay saurabh over to you hello uh, very good evening again uh, thank you for the opportunity and wonderful sharing uh, from bhaskar and nazir i would like to continue on the same and i would like to ask a question that if you have failed are you a failure so to begin with i would like to add a quote that failure is not bad if it doesn't attack the heart and success is not bad if it doesn't go to the head and every one of us in our life have embraced failure at one point or another and it is impossible for us to perform if we believe that we are a failure and we have to fail forward at the same time there are numerous examples of people in our life a uh, few i would like to share is number 1 thomas alva edison number 1 inventor of his time but at his school time he was considered as unteachable albert einstein the renowned scientist his school teacher said that he won't amount too much if they have stick to those notion i don't think we would be having great inventions from these these two wizards another example i would like to share is of a cube uh, of a colombian uh, weightlifter that is oscar figueroa he was he participated in 2004 olympics stood fifth in 2008 he was not able to finish in 2012 olympics he stood second and grabbed silver medal and in 2016 olympics he bagged the gold medal what is the common uh, thing in these people that in the time of adversity rejection and failing they continue to believe in themselves and they refuse to consider themselves as a failure so there are a few ability 
we require to fail forward these are seven in total number one is achievers reject rejection in it we have two type of failure internal and external if at any point we have failed and we have embraced it to our heart there is a lesser chance that we would be get, getting out of that failure and if it, it is an external failure uh, based on some circumstances based on some uh, unforeseen events so then there is a chance that we can uh, get out of it keeping the right perspective taking the responsibility of our action but not taking those failure personally second point is achievers they see failure as temporary so if we have personalized our failure then then we would be stuck around those failure and we won't be able to progress or proceed anywhere in our life third point is achievers see failures as an isolated incident so they see it as a momentary incident and not a lifelong epidemic so uh, a very good example for this this is uh, meera bai chanu uh, she grabbed a silver medal yesterday but in 2016 olympic she failed to finish she failed to qualify even so she didn't let that single incident to color her view on herself and uh, we all know she she bagged a silver medal for us fourth point is achievers keep expectation realistic we we all will be facing setbacks so we have to keep our approach reasonable and our expectation also reasonable so that if things don't work as per our expectation then it won't hurt us much fifth point is achiever focus on their strength so there another way to keeping yourself uh, from failure is to focusing on your strengths and working on it rather than working on your weakness sixth point is achievers very approach to achievements uh, from a book psychology of achievement brian tracy shared that she wrote about four millionaires who reached the top but the price they paid was an average of 17th business so on an average each one of us tried each one of them tried 17 business before reaching the top the thing that was common in them was they keep on trying and changing until they found something that worked for them seventh point is achiever bounce back all achievers they have one common skill after every mistake after every error or failure they will keep on moving forward no matter what what happens so if you think that you are failing or you are a failure i would like to give you four points uh, that could help you number one is examine your expectation in that area the area where you want to succeed what are your expectations in that area you have to write it down you have to understand they are re- realistic they are achievable how you can achieve them second point is you have to find new ways of doing your work for your expectation for your targets you have to brainstorm you have to collect new idea and you have to work on at least 50% of them third is you have to focus on your strength and you have to make yourself understand that how you can make your strength area work for you and fourth point is vow to bounce back that is no matter how many time you are failing how many time there is rejection dejection you have to just pick yourself and move ahead so in your life if you have if you have to fail or you are failing you have to fail forward thank you for the opportunity over to you karthik wow amazing uh, saurabh uh, it was also very concentrated talk and uh, yeah definitely i can resonate with what you told if you see the first olympian after uh, for i think 12 years right 12 years uh, he has got that gold medal right so uh, why i said uh, i can resonate because from p- past 9 years i am also working on an idea but uh, there is not significant uh, there is no significant uh, accomplishment or progress i can say i mean accomplishment i can say rather right uh, every year it's like um, taking three steps forward uh, two steps backward three steps forward two steps backward right at least like one step uh, pro- uh, progress is there but yeah definitely i i know about my purpose okay why i am doing what i am doing right so that is very crystal clear to me and uh, i want to share this uh, last uh, slide before i end this okay so i hope you are able to see so if you see there is a difference between failing backward and failing forward right 
so uh, blaming others means you are failing backward okay taking if you take responsibility you are failing forward repeating the same mistakes again you are going backward learning from each mistake you are going forward expecting never to fail again <laughs> it's it, it is never going to happen knowing failure is a part of progress is failing forward expecting to continually fail is again failing backward maintaining a positive attitude is failing forward okay accepting tradition blindly again that is failing backward so failing forward challenging outdated assumptions right so being limited by past mistakes i'm sure definitely we'll cover more on your past if you tell uh, karthik you don't know about my past we'll definitely share it uh, in next time okay taking new risk failing forward thinking i'm a failure again it's failing backward believing something didn't work is failing forward right quitting is failing backward persevering is failing forward right so i hope uh, these points were uh, very helpful uh, for you all uh, if you uh, if you ask uh, if you tell kati you don't know about my past uh, right uh, why i am not able to succeed so we are going to cover about that in our next uh, series okay uh, stay tuned so before we end this uh, uh, any anything you wanted to share saurabh nazir baskar yeah very well said uh, sort of the last slide was uh, awesome uh, nicely summarized yeah yeah very very good talk from all the speakers thank you nazir thank you saurav yeah thank you all uh, thank you all that sorry thank you all it it was a uh, uh, wonderful sharing from all of uh you uh, nazir baskar uh, kartik i just would, would like to say that even in our life we are uh, ha having failures so we just have to fail forward yeah. absolutely thank you so much again guys for coming i hope uh, whatever we shared was a value add to you and uh, if you have any doubts uh, personally you can ping us uh, anytime and uh, we will be able to see if we can help you overcome this right so stay tuned again for our next uh, series continuing on this uh, feeling forward okay uh, have a great uh, weekend have a uh, keep smiling and or keep feeling forward right okay bye bye